we were hunters and foragers, wanderers on the savannas and the steppes. The frontier was everywhere. We were bounded only by the earth and the ocean and the sky. We haven't forgotten. The open road still softly calls, like a nearly forgotten song of childhood. We invest far off places with a certain romance. The appeal, I suspect, has been meticulously crafted by natural selection as an essential element in our survival. Long before Columbus, Indonesian Argonauts in outrigger canoes explored the Western Pacific. People from Borneo settled Madagascar. Egyptians and Libyans circumnavigated Africa. And a great fleet of ocean-going junks from Ming Dynasty China crisscrossed the Indian Ocean, established a base in Zanzibar, rounded the Cape of Good Hope, and entered the Atlantic Ocean. In the 15th through 17th centuries, European sailing ships discovered new continents, new at any rate to Europeans, and circumnavigated the planet. In the 18th and 19th centuries, American and Russian explorers, traders, and settlers raced west and east across two vast continents to the Pacific. This zest to explore and exploit, however thoughtless its agents may have been, has clear survival value. It is not restricted to any one nation or ethnic group. It is an endowment that all members of the human species hold in common. Since we first emerged a few million years ago in East Africa, we've meandered our way around the planet. There are now people on every continent and the remotest islands, from pole to pole, from Mount Everest to the Dead Sea, on the ocean bottoms, and even, occasionally, in residence 200 miles up, humans, like the gods of old, living in the sky. These days, there seems to be nowhere left to explore, at least on the land area of the Earth. Victims of their very success, the explorers now pretty much stay home. Long summers, mild winters, rich harvests, plentiful game, none of them lasts forever. It is beyond our powers to predict the future. Catastrophic events have a way of sneaking up on us, of catching us unaware. Your own life, or your bands, or even your species might be owed to a restless few, drawn by a craving they can hardly articulate or understand, to undiscovered lands and new worlds. Herman Melville in Moby Dick spoke for wanderers in all epochs and meridians. He said, I am tormented with an everlasting itch for things remote. I love to sail forbidden seas.